Let's talk about productivity as it relates to launching a business from your home while honoring your health. This is a question I received from Gabriela over at The Striving Forward. So thank you so much for your submission. I am happy to address this question because as a fellow entrepreneur from home, this can be a challenge. And so one of the ways I like to combat this um, inefficiency that happens when we are working from home and we don't have that infrastructure at play is by using the power of time blocking. So I don't know about you, but I live with my phone nearby. And so I want to use its power for good. And the calendar is a really great way to do this. So I treat my day very, very intentionally by creating time blocks for different activities. So that way I can be very intentional and very focused on how I'm spending my time, especially us um, mamas who are juggling school schedules and pickups. It's really important because we don't have that much time throughout the day. And so if you can really maximize that hour or 30 minutes that you have, you will see that you will be a lot more productive and you'll stay on track. Another area that I like to use the calendar is to incorporate wellness appointments. And what I mean by that is I create reminders in my calendar to whether that's to drink more water, to um, make sure that I'm getting enough vitamin D, to uh, make sure I have my workouts scheduled in. So once I start incorporating these wellness appointments alongside my to-dos as it pertains to my business, then it becomes a more holistic approach to my daily life. And long-term, this is going to become a lot more natural for you. You're going to be more well-balanced and it's gonna allow you to remain at your most optimal level because you are ensuring that you are making time not only for your business but also for yourself um, the last pit, bit of advice that i'd like to give is also to remind yourself to create moments of joy whether that's on a weekly basis or try to do something daily to really just have fun whether that's like walking into a flower shop that's one of my favorite joyful moments or getting your nails done or you know just any little bit of moments that you can carve for yourself that are purely joyful and just bring a little more fun into your life it's so important because i think a lot of us forget to have fun and um, it's so part of our overall uh, well-being and so that is just a little extra magic that you can add into your day so that you feel more energized you feel more complete and you are just more solid foundation not only for your business but for your loved ones and so i hope you found that helpful if so share it with a friend and until next time bye for now